Hi guys! Good morning guys! Uh, welcome back to my FB page sa uh, PLC Basic Tutorial. No? Uh, in last video, I show you this uh, incremental encoder that I will tell to you that I will uh, get some uh, tutorial for this one. So, I will get, give you some uh, information about this. So, this is an incremental encoder. It has a 5 pin. So, the 2 pin is for the the positive and the zero volts no the plus and the zero volts and we have three channel for this one so you can see this in these tags zero positive channel one channel two channel three uh, this is a uh, channel a b c so it has a channel a is pin two channel b is pin four and channel five is pins uh pin five uh, channel c no okay so what is the meaning of this channel okay so in this channel guys we have a revolution per uh, per pulse no uh, pulse per revolution okay in the channel c we have a one pulse in one revolution what the, what is the meaning of this so i will tell you what is the meaning of one pulse okay the one pulse is when when this uh, shaft of the encoder is turned clockwise or counterclockwise it will count as one Okay, it has a counting one. If this uh, pointer here, or uh, I put some uh, markings here, so I will know where is the exact locations. No, exact location for the uh, 360, 360 turn of this uh, shop. Okay, when this turn 360, it has one uh, revolution or one clock pulse for the channel C. Okay, so when I turn this one like this. It will count one because you have only one pulse in one uh, revolution, and then we have a uh, channel B here. Let's see, uh, in channel B we have 50 pulse per revolution, meaning to say when it's turning from the zero point to the 360 point, it has a 50 counts pulse, 50 count pulse. So. How can you take one and then uh, 50, no? Okay? And the channel A, guys, it has a 500 uh, clock pulse. It is the high pine clock pulse. In the second one, is the pine clock. Okay? And the channel C is clock pulse only. Okay? Channel C, clock pulse. Channel B, pine clock pulse. Channel A, high clock pulse. Pine, uh, high clock pulse uh, Pine clock pulse Okay I, I'm sorry I'm sorry about my English now Okay guys So in channel A We have 500 So from zero point Of this uh, shop Going to the 360 It will count 500 So How do you think As you can see this counting now uh, Okay It will turn like this Or like this In the reverse In the reverse it will count 500 so so we have a counter go up counter up counter down we have like this uh, function here in our uh, laptop in our PLC but uh, you must see first your uh, CPU if, if this is have a count in the CPU in the hardware I will show you if you have a count okay hey guys you will see okay guys see this this is the count for our CPU. So we have it count. So we will check what is inside this one. Okay? So we have uh, three channels for this count, no? In every CPU, there is a... Uh, what you call this? A properties for this uh, CPU, no? It has the same uh, other. But uh, sometimes in 314C... I see it uh, for channel, but here this is only a three channels. But it can read a 30 kilohertz, no? 30 kilohertz pulse with modulation with 2.5 kilohertz switching frequency, counting frequency. So it is fast, but the faster is that uh, it have a four channel. Okay, you see, you can see here zero one two. So it is a three channel here for this count, and you can check it here. Configure this one, count continuously, count twice Okay, count once, count periodically, frequency counting, pulse width modulation Okay guys, 
you can see it in your CPU in the hardware configuration. So, that is a very short uh, information for you. So, you can see this. So, we will go in our CPU. See? How much this... Uh, okay. The cycle memory for this one. We will see it, guys. Okay. Cycle from communication is 20. Okay. Mm. So, now, guys, uh, I will show you some... Uh, Simple uh, way how you can uh, okay, how you can see your uh, counting for this uh, encoder. No, in the first place, I put I put the channel channel C in this uh, color uh, gray, channel B this color black, and the channel white uh, channel C is in the white. No, I connected it in our uh, connector in our wire for the. Encoder. Now I will put it, guys. Okay, and uh, I will first make it a uh, diagram for this one. So I put the channel C in uh, input 0.0, I 0, .0. I, 0, .0. and then we will put a integer function. Okay, so we will put integer function. So additional integers. This is an integers. Okay. I will put input MW0 Okay And then count is only one The in Okay, out will be MW0 Okay After this one, uh, you will put here a positive edge For the This is very Very important guys, no? This is positive edge I will uh, address it 50.0 uh, M50.0 Wait, wait M50.0 Okay And then after this I will put a comparator So we will see our count here So I will put greater than equal You will always guys uh, Check uh, what is your uh, Beginning here it's integers So you will use comparator Integers because we have comparator uh, Here uh, real We have real here And uh what is this? Uh, double integers. Okay. So, after this one, we will address this one. MW0. MW0. Okay. So, we will put a 10 for the one pulse only. This is for the channel C. One pulse. And then we will put a coil. M 0.7 Okay So it has no tagging all because this is new Okay, I will uh, shortcut it For the uh, Short time only, okay So, we will put another network For the reset So I will put here a reset button Normally close I 0 0.1 And then uh, We will put move We will use move guys Follow my instruction na huh? We will put move here. Okay. So, zero. We will put input zero. And then output MW zero. Okay. So, that's it guys. Okay. So, I will now download it in our CPU. Okay. Yes. So, it's already downloaded now. So, I will monitor it. Okay. Wait. Huh? So, now it's already monitor now. So we have here, I will press this uh, reset button first now, so I will be zero. Okay, now it's zero now, no? I will show you, I will turn the uh, encoder, so it will count one for the channel C, okay? Wait. Okay, guys, I already put our encoder in our plug. So I will turn this one, guys, so as you can see, this is zero. So I will turn it from here, from this uh, point, I will turn it 360, so I will, uh, you, you will see... This is channel C. It is uh, only in one clock, in one uh, revolution, it's only have one pulse. Okay, I will turn this one, guys. See? See? It's only one, one count for one revolution. So, this is the channel C. So, I will put, again, the channel B for the 50 clock pulse in one revolution. Okay, guys? I will change the address. I will... I put this in the address I, put, I 0 0.3 
So I will put it there guys Okay wait Okay guys I already changed our uh, Address here I0.3 for the channel B So as you can see here See Channel B okay, It has a 50 Clock pulse Okay So I will turn this guys again From this point Zero, po, zero from zero degrees to 360 degrees I will turn it and you will see it here the 50 counting no so I will turn it guys slowly so you can see it see from the center to the center it has a complete 50 okay uh, my phone is focusing okay it has a 50 pine, uh, clock pulse pine clock pulse you see guys it's the channel B that have a 50 clock pulse okay so in the next address I will put it in address I0.4 that we have a channel channel A with a 500 clock pine clock pulse okay wait guys so okay guys so we have now here as i0.4 so this is the address for the input of 500 clock pulse so i change it here guys uh 555 because uh we have uh 500 clock pulse here so when it comes to 500 here uh it will be reset goes to zero but uh i put it 55 uh, 555 so you can see it okay so again we are in the center 360 degrees for the zero, zero degrees here so I will turn it again guys slowly huh? I, so you can see it uh, slowly okay, I will turn our uh, encoder as you can see it has uh, counting now Sometimes it fails, sometimes it's good. It depends upon your CPU, you guys. It, if this is have uh, counting uh, values here. Almost there. Wait, uh, I cannot uh, move my hands. Check, check. We will check. So, see? Here, 503. But maybe I is mistake. Uh, maybe a uh, little, a little move. So, it's not uh, more than in the set center. center uh. Okay? So, in one, in one revolution, it has a 500 pulse. It has a 500 count. So, it is accurate, no? So, that's the simple uh, explanation for this uh, encoder this is an incremental encoder but this is not the proper way to uh, program this encoder it depends upon the programmer this uh, diagram I only show you for the counting of the per pulse of the encoder okay guys thank you so much for uh, listening to my explanation and uh, for watching my videos thank you thank you so much guys goodbye